What's going on guys? John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I want to talk about tuples in Python. Alright, in the last video we looked at lists in more detail. In this video, I want to look at tuples in more details, get into what they are, how you can play with them, how you can hack around with them a little bit, and it uh, should be fun. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and be sure to check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off memberships, that's all my courses, videos, and books, for a one-time fee of just $27, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so like I said in the last video, we looked at lists, you have the square brackets. In this video, we're going to look at tuples. Tuples are the exact same thing as lists, the only difference is they can't be changed once they're created, they're immutable. But they can kind of can be and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So to create a tuple, it's exactly like a list, but instead of these square brackets, you use these rounded brackets parentheses, I guess they're called. And that's it. So if we save this, come back here and run it. We get john, uh, we can likewise, and like you're seeing here, I, I've called it the same exact way I called a list by naming it names and then using the square brackets and then picking the item, the list item number. So remember, just like list tuples start at zero. So John is zero, Bob is one, Tina is two, we're calling zero, which is john, you can leave this thing off completely just like a list if we save this and run it, it will print out the entire list, but you'll notice the parentheses, the rounded brackets instead of the square brackets that you have with lists. So like I said, lists and tuples are the same thing. Tuples, you just can't change them. So this is our tuple right here, John, Bob and Tina, we can't add anything, we can't remove anything, it's immutable. Now lists, on the other hand, you can add you can take away. We looked at that in the last video, you could take a look at that if you're interested, if you didn't see it. But why would you want to use a tuple over a list if you can't change it? Well, they say tuples are a little quicker, a little faster than lists, uh, processing power wise. So, you know, I don't know the truth of that. I've really never dived into it and done the math or anything. I, I trust when the people, the powers that be say tuples are faster than lists, that tuples are faster than lists. Now, in my life, everyday usage, nothing I ever build is going to need that extra millisecond of a, a time, you know, whatever, that a tuple is going to bring you over a list. I just I'm not building things that are that complicated. You know, if you're working at Google, and the search algorithm needs to be a slight bit faster, because you're doing it at a scale of gazillions of processes per second, then yeah, use a tuple, you know, for a regular old website that gets a, you know, a couple hundred visitors a day, or a few thousand visitors a day, or something like that, or a little app that you know, is going to get a 1000 users at a time, who cares, you know, right. So I just always use lists. But if you want to use a tuple, you absolutely can. Now I said these are immutable, they can't be changed. But that's just not really true. We can hack around sort of and, and change them. So I'm going to change the name of this somebody is texting me. So I'm going to change the name of this to tuple one. And let's come down here and call this tuple one. Right now, let's say we wanted to add a lit an item to our tuple, right? Well, we can't because you can't do that. But what we can do is let's create tuple two and set that equal. Oops, if I could type to let's see, john, bob, tina, let's add Mary. Now when you have a tuple with just one item, I should note, you still got to put the comma at the end. I don't know why that is. But it's just a, a weird little thing. So okay, we've got this tuple two. Now we can create tuple three, and set that equal to tuple one plus tuple two. And we can just sort of concatenate those two together. Now if we want to print out tuple three, if we save this, and run it, boom, we see john, bob, tina and mary, okay, that's not really changing the first tuple. But we're getting the benefits of the speed of having tuples but yet we're adding a, a thing to our tuple in the future. Right? So it's kind of a hacky way to get around this. And yeah, technically, tuple three is a completely different tuple, but the result is the same, we still have a tuple with four things in it instead of just uh, three. So you know, we can also sort of remove things. We looked at 
few videos ago the len feature so we can go you know or the the range feature so we can go zero to two now this will put print out everything from the zeroest up until the second item so this is zero this is one and this is two so we're going to print out everything up until but not including two right so john and bob i think right so if we save this come back and run it it just prints out John and Bob. That's cool. Now we could, if we really wanted to, create a tuple, tuple three, and say it equals, and then just have all of this, right? And then down here, if we want to print out tuple three, we could save this and run it. And we get again, John and Bob. But now, you know, John and Bob are in its own tuple, tuple three. Whereas before we just had tuple one with a range on it, right? So that's another sort of hacky way that you can remove something from a tuple. But we're ha we haven't actually removed it from the tuple. We're creating an all, uh, an all new tuple, tuple three, and then putting in, you know, just a certain range of the tuple. You know, that's what, you, you know, that's just an easy way to do it. You could go, let's say we wanted um, a tuple with just Bob. Bob is the first item. So John is zero, Bob is one. So tuple three can just be equal to tuple one, the first item in tuple one. And if we print out tuple three, save this, we get Bob, right? So <laughs> it's just like, there's all kinds of ways you can hack around on this to change your tuple without actually changing it because it's impossible to change a tuple. They are immutable. You can't add or remove things from them. I don't know. I don't use tuples. I don't, I shouldn't say that I have used tuples. There are times when you might be using some sort of open source program that uses tuples. So you need to be familiar with them. And uh, you know, if you want to hack around with them like this, you can and that will work. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube to get $22 off membership. So you pay just $27 to access all my courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDF versions of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 50,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com. We'll see you in the next video.